Good evening. I want to welcome you all to our Christmas program and to Lone Star Gulch, where we are going to meet an unreal storekeeper and learn about the true meaning of Christmas. At the close of our program tonight, we have some students that will be collecting a love offering. And if you feel blessed and inspired and would like to help support programs like this and the use of new risers, we would greatly appreciate your donations. But without any further ado, let's bow our heads and start with a word of prayer. Dear Father, we just want to thank you for this Christmas season, for the opportunity we have to share in your love and your joy. And we ask that you help that love and joy transform us and to be able to share that love and joy with others. Please be with our students and help them to perform well to honor and glorify you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.
gentlemen of our wonderful little town of Lone Star Gulch as your mayor and his wife. <laughs> yes, dear. As your mayor and, well, his wife, I take great pleasure in hereby declaring that the Christmas season is duly upon us and that I, the mayor, and I, his wife, <laughs> and, and, and that I, the mayor of this fair town, and her, the wife of the mayor, <laughs> invite you all to the annual Christmas Eve program right here in this square. This is a time to celebrate. Oh yes, celebrate with fancy parties and cute little sandwiches and pretty dresses and- uh, Abigail? Yes, dear. Hooray for Christmas! And I, your mayor. And I, your Mrs. Mayor. Wish you all a very Merry Christmas season. Hooray for Christmas! Hooray for Mr. Mayor! Hooray for Mrs. Mayor! Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Mayor, but may I remind you and all of our citizens that we celebrate this wonderful Christmas season and remembering Jesus' birthday. Why, Brother Parson, we all know that. Why, in honor of the true meaning of Christmas, I'm going to bring one of my splendid persimmon fruitcakes to the Christmas Eve program. Thank you, Mrs. Mayor. I'm sure we'll all enjoy it. Just remember, it's a birthday cake, Jesus' birthday. Thank you for reminding us, Parson. I think it's time that we all lift our voices in a real Christmas song. <laughs>
I don't want to need a wreath on my own window and put that room down. I like my place just how it is, you hear? Just how it is. And what's more, I don't need this Christmas time foolery. Now scat, both of you. But Mr. Johnson, it's time to celebrate Jesus' birth. You celebrate your way, I celebrate my way. What's your way, Mr. Johnson? I close down my store and sleep. That's my way. You heard that? Mr. Johnson doesn't celebrate Christmas. Oh. What? All right there, Mrs. Storekeeper. As Sheriff of Lone Star Gulch, I think you're on the wrong track here. Bye, doggy. If I could, I'd lock you up in the hoose cap for talking that way. What do you folks have to say about this? What's wrong with you, Mr. Johnson? Have you forgotten about the first Christmas? I do declare, don't you remember the baby in the manger? Yeah.
We ain't had no trouble for as long as I remember. The jail's just as empty as a bird's nest in December. <laughs> it's peace on earth and happiness at Christmas and all time. Our hearts are full of happy, because I'm through with this here rhyme. <laughs>
said, where did this baby come from? I found it on my front porch. Well, I never. Stand there, read it to me. Yes, sir. Dear Mr. Storekeeper, you don't know who I am. I'm just passing through your town. Everyone seems so happy here. So since I cannot take care of my baby, I want you to. I'm sure you're a very nice man. Nice man? Did she say a nice man? Well, I never. I'll be good. Yes, sir. <laughs> hold one of these? And how do you drive one of these? Oh look, I think he smiled at me. Now, baby, what am I gonna do for baby? I'm an only child. I've never been in the same roof with baby. I'm not sure I was ever baby myself. stuff to put on his top, his bottom, and the space in between. <laughs> folks hear me? Do you hear what I said? I'm going to change. It is true. A baby does make a difference. <laughs> Hello, storekeeper. What's this I hear about changing? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Parson. A baby does make a difference. How's that, Mr. Storekeeper? When I'm around that boy, I feel dirty. Makes me think I'm not a very good dad for him. Putting on a clean apron doesn't really change you. You have to want to change on the inside. How's that? Mr. Storekeeper, you ask Jesus to change you. Ask him to forgive you of your meanness. He will give you a new heart and life. That's the real change that you need. I guess little Josh is beginning to teach me a lesson. Thank you. 